Hi and welcome to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved where we are currently um, deciding what to sow in this field. Um, I think this field is corn. Uh, I think I've got the wrong cedar. So we're going to go and have a look, find out where our cedar is. Because field 16 is. Um, is, is that what basically corn? I can't remember where my corn field is. No, we'll, we'll, we're going to want to make some money this time, so we're going to put it on. Uh, we're we're going to put it on Kenobi. Let's have a look, see what we got in stock. Canola, we got three sixteen. Um, let's put it on. Well, I, I do, I do need corn. I do need corn. Um. Yeah, that's gonna have to be our corn field. So let's have a look, see what else we 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 got to uh, we we've got to do. We've got five and six have been doing. So number ten. Right, we'll go to number 10, we'll get the going on number 10. Barley, we've got barley on five and six wheat. Um, wheat, barley, we'll have this one, I think. Yeah, we'll have him on that one. We'll get that one done. Now this is the last episode today on um, on this one. Okay, so the way way it goes on that one there, and hopefully we can jump into our other one and he's find up. Back on this one. Where's our where's our other one? Right, so is is has he finished that field? Yes. He's finished that field, so now I'm gonna where is he? Field number six. So we need to now go and get field number five done. And this is gonna be barley again. Morning to whoever's just come in the room. Good morning Gaza, how are you doing this morning man?
you want to go on Skype? back very shortly guys and then we'll be on uh Skype I've just got a load up and um, then we'll carry on. Hopefully you guys are still actually seeing the stream because I've just shut my window down so actually it shouldn't actually well no it's gone. To that, we'll go. Oh, we need to get this off and over here. And when you're ready, Gary, you can you can put the call through, mate. We'll go back to the game now. I'm just going to wait for uh, Gary to uh, put the call through. All good, I'm all on, I'm all ready to go. Did we, did we get through? Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Right, I'm just going to have to adjust my sound settings because always come through quiet, but let's see, uh, where are we on my sound? Right, okay, we're going to have to put that one up. So we can hear you, and then we're gonna. That's where you want me to start talking a bit more, so you can tune in. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You, you got it, mate. Uh, okay. You got it. That is really good. Um, I see you playing the farming simulator game again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I bought it for the iPad to see if I'd like it or not. It's about three pound, I think, for the iPad, but it's about twenty, uh, about fifteen, twenty pound, I think, for this the uh, PC one. But I haven't really gotten into it yet because I, I, I just didn't like the controls on the um, iPad, so I might have to look into trying it online. It's not bad. It's a very calming but patient game. Um, yeah, I've got around about 80 episodes on this one, I think, something like that. It's quite high. This is one of the starter maps that you you actually get and um i do i do quite enjoy playing it actually so i don't get a lot of hits i don't get a lot of hits on this i probably might get one or two a day but you know one or two a day still means still one or two a day yeah it's still good still got an audience for it exactly and i like it this this is the point when we stream we stream the games we like i couldn't care less if nobody actually watches it I like it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, too, right. That's, the thing. That's what I had with Fortress Craft. I mean, most of my viewers all wanted Subnautica, Ark, stuff like that at different times. So, and I started playing it and I lost other viewers. I was like, well, I'm still going to play this game because I quite enjoy it. I, still, I bought the game. I want to get the maximum out of it. Sort of well, that's it. I mean, I mean, if, if you, look at, you look at my schedule now. I do... Farming Simulator 2015, I do Guild Wars 2, I do Fortress Craft Evolved Season 5 to try and get the Orbital Array up, I do Fortress Craft Season 6 because it's new, people want to re-see a, a new world going again and we can check all of the settings and stuff like that and we can test the, the uh, mod that we're doing. Um, what else do I do? I do Emporium Galactical Survival. 
I've still got another two weeks before I record that because I was so into it, so enjoyed it. It was fantastic, you know, and I, I, I actually got a whole month's recording done in like two days. And, actually, you know? That just reminded me, I, I forgot, I haven't updated my, uh, my uh, broken Oswald yet. Are you not put it in yet? I put it up last night. Yeah, I know, I was, I was just like chilling out really, I made it a bit, mind your own business, I was like, okay. And I just remembered now, as you said that, I was like, actually, I've still got the 1.6 version, I've to download that and installed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still having a lot of trouble on the broken Moss Wob of having it automatically installed where I want it to, because you have to put in the your name section, you have to take that and you have to put your name in. And that that is what I'm finding to be annoying. The program's great. I love it, I, and, and I'm sure, or at least I'm hoping, that uh, the people that use it and install it find it so much easier to install and uninstall instead of opening huge amounts of files and folders, and you know, copying this I mean, file as over. As far as installers go, I mean, compared to Minecraft and stuff like that, this is perfect. Yeah. So I mean, I can't fault the installation process at all. I'm just not happy with that you you have to put in your name because I know exactly where the file is and according to the app I, I, I'm supposed to be able to put hash they call it a hashtag then app local data hashtag and then where the file is and it's supposed to put it in where the, the where the file location is but it doesn't it doesn't put it in the right uh, right section and it um, it is annoying yeah so because it comes up and says file not created and I've got the file cr file open and I'll say no that that's not putting it in the right place you know this is why I can't do the update of it that's why you're having to download it all the time uh, but I'll, I'll get my head around it. I'll work it out eventually. But yeah, now you can uh, use uh, you can make a T1 battery to a T2 battery to a T3 battery to a T4 battery to a T5 battery. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick backup as it does say in your uh, license. So make sure you do do a backup. Always. Always. So, have you read the changes to the license? Uh, I've got my license up at the moment, but I've just reminded, it's just reminded me to do my backup, so I'm going to do a quick backup of my world. Yeah. <coughs> and then I'll proceed. But I'll do a backup of my uh, project to games folder in my local loan. That way I'll make sure I get all of it. You only need to back up your world fol folder. Yeah, I know, but if I've got mods installed, that would be where it'd be affecting as well, wouldn't it? Uh, no, no. If you're backing up your local low fo uh, folders, you're you're actually backing up the wrong folder. Oh, okay. You need to go into Good. where it says, um, right. There's two locations. Yeah. Now the local low folder is where all the mods are. Yeah. Now, the one way you want to go into is the data folder where it holds the world, which is like what you called your world, yeah? And all you need to do yeah. is copy that file into a backup folder, yeah? Okay, because um, actually in, that, in my uh, app data local load project to go to Fortress Craft Worlds, that is how I access all my worlds and modify my inventories and stuff, so... I just copy the entire thing. Well, you only, you only need to copy the world folder. That's all you need to do. Yeah? Okay. Uh, because if you have to reinstall it, the most important thing is that world folder. Yeah? Now, any modifications you've done, mods and stuff like that, that's just an easy reinstall because like with the broken mods you just click the install and it puts it in and it it's all done yeah and if yeah. you're modifying any of the folders yourself you need to back those up 
but the most important one for the game is that world folder okay, cool. and every time there's an update and it says updating do not press play and then back up your world back up your world before you press play Good morning, Rarity. Um, and the answer to your question is, because I'm using the helper, that automatically sets it to six. There's not much else I, I can do. I've tried to increase the speed, and it doesn't like it. It, it don't want to do it. So I just leave it to cruise. But yeah, going back to Fortress Craft Evolved, that's all you need to do. You, you don't need to do anything else. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. But this is the last episode that we're doing on the farming sim today because I only need to do four episodes of this to take me to the end of the week. Um, and then I think next on the list is Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2. And then I think we've got about three episodes of those to do. And then. I've got some Fortress Craft Evolved episodes to do, and if we still got time, we probably might even do Fortress Craft Multiplayer if you're still up for that. Ooh, I was actually going to start a brand new world today and like just go legit and see what I could do, but if we do a multiplayer, I mean that's that's both at the same time, so that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, because then you can stream on your channel, I can stream on my channel. We can both earn money and get more more people. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna have a quick read and see what the changes in the license agreement applied. Yeah, because it says changes to the license. Read it. Yep. Because I, I ain't telling people th to make people read the license. I ain't gonna tell what I'm gonna change in the license. I'm gonna say read it, and if they say, "Oh well, that wasn't in the license," so well, actual facts, it is. <laughs> Do you spell license differently to the way I was expecting? I can't spell. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's actually got on the uh, Broken Wilson store at the top, it's got license, please bring the license agreement below, and then it's got the different spelling of license below it. I just looked at it, I was like, that's why I got confused yesterday in the message. I was like, okay, what's, what's this? I couldn't even, I wasn't even sure what it was. I was like, oh, okay, then I'll, I'll look at that tomorrow then and see what that was. <laughs> yeah. I actually That's need to I go mean. get an Oxford English dictionary and put the the, the, the words that I can't spell, which is 90% of the English language, <laughs> down on a list when I'm doing a licence agreement. So I need to make sure I spell that right and that right and that right. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm terrible for that, but I usually like, use a different program, such as Word or something, and then I uh, then just copy and paste it after all, I correct and tax it. <laughs> yeah. That's how bad I am. Well, when I'm right, when when I'm writing um, on my uh, book, on, on my on my books, I, um, I I do a spell checker and a grammar checker, and then when I send it to a, a friend of mine for a proofreader, she says, "Are you sure you're putting this through a, a grammar check and a spell check?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." She's and it comes back and it's marked all in red. And she, she grades it, and at the moment I'm a grade D. I started off. My grade. <laughs> I started off as a grade F. Yeah, I mean, in my. It's, what was infuriating for me? Oh, wait, I think you've got someone talking to you in yeah. the chat. Um. I'll try to see if I can speed it up, because, but normally when I try speeding up the tractors on the PC, they just, want, they, they, they just won't do it. It's just. I can't understand, they've got the horsepower to do it. So I think number two is uh, speed up and number one is slow down. Yeah, it, it just won't It just won't have it, Rarity. There, there's Once I press H to have the helper drive the tractor, I have no control over it. None whatsoever, I can't speed it up, can't slow it down. The only time I can do it is when I manually do it. And when I manually do it, it still only goes around about six six miles an hour. Yeah, 
So could that possibly be to? Um, I don't know. I know you set uh, Fortress Craft to lower settings to get it to run better. Could that possibly be a feature where you've changed the settings? No, these these are practically on uh, excellent settings. Oh. This That's is bizarre, sure that is. this is this is practically on the best settings that you can get. Um, this is on the one that comes recommended with. I think is th this is good quality. So I don't know. I only okay. I only notch it down when uh, I'm streaming. So this isn't the best quality I can run this game on when I'm doing it offline, which I don't do anymore. But yeah, this is this is um, quite quite good on the graphics. Yeah, it looks good. I just didn't know if you'd changed it at all because I know you had to on Fortress Craft. So I wasn't sure if maybe that could have been something that was affecting the way your machines were, uh, what the speeds were on. I can't the do. It goes, the faster it's going to regenerate, like the terrain and textures around you. Sort of thing. Yeah, I can't do that at the moment, uh, Rarity. I've got no seed in the tractor, but I will give that a go. Um. But because we've got other tractors going at, the, going at the same time, I prefer just to press H, and to me, it's just chilling and relaxing and stuff like that, so I don't really worry if it's going quite slow. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping when I get a new graphics card, I, I will be able to stream in better quality as well. But yeah, I, I, I kind of enjoy the farming simulator. Like I said, I only get one or two people watch it. But there's still the one or two people that watch it. And, you know, I like it. It's, it's relaxing, when, especially when I've got to think what I've got to do. Because I don't always like to think. So, what, what do you think of the new license agreement? Yeah, I think, isn't it just the, uh, the bottom line, bottom couple of lines that have changed, really? No. Because uh, I did read through some of it before. There's a couple of bits in there where it says, I am not responsible for if it if you install it and it breaks the machine, and I'm not responsible if it also breaks the machine when it's installed correctly. Oh, yeah, I'm also not responsible for anything that may happen. This one is used in the wrong manner or the right manner. This mod is intended to be used as augmentation, augmentation to the game and in no way part of the original game. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not responsible for the error or corruption to your software or the hardware. Uh, version of the game's mod is intended to be used for blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, I couldn't remember off the top of my head what the last one said, but I did read through it yeah. and made notes of things that are key, um when I, the things I remembered was you only update it on the weekend most of the time unless it need be. Yeah, yeah. And like emails if you have any issues or suggestions. And you know what? I've not got one email yet. It's because I'm talking to you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's check out what we... I, I love how fast it installs. It's literally bam, done. Yeah, well, it's, it's only tiny, tiny files, you see. Yeah. You know, there's not there's not much more in it for um for us to for us to do. Right. Uh, okay, I'm playing on simple. I didn't realize I changed that simple. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I have to add okay. on fast. You know. I think I load it down. Because um, when we were Skyping, I think the quality of the game was trying to render stuff off uh, internet files, I think, I'm not sure. And uh, when we were Skyping, the Skype call kept breaking up, so when I crashed again, I just changed the quality. And even the Skype call improved, it was pretty weird. Well, I think because it's a, 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 a new game, um, I don't think they've got um, everything working correct that people say about memory bleeds and stuff like this and I think what my memory isn't bleeding <laughs> you know, if my memory was bleeding I'd be in hospital with a flipping 
you know, I had bandage around me head. <laughs> and my driving still has not improved. I was going to say you're tearing around now, you're like 35 mile an hour. <laughs> All I can see is trees colliding into the uh, on screen camera. I'm like, what is going on? <gasps> I know, they're so. Oh, crashed into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're so flipping annoying, I, I, I tell you. They, they really, really are. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go and. Um... If you went into a tree then. <gasps> Yeah, like that, they they get in the way, man. So, can you change the uh, camera settings so you get a first person rather than a uh, extended third person? Uh, yeah, but first person, oh, fucking hell, first person. Right, we'll, we'll press uh, C for cab view. Now, this is what you see uh, in a couple of minutes. You'll see it. This is what you see when you're in first person mode, and um, it it really is very restrictive. It's going to be horrible like in the old, uh, the new GTA where you can barely see anything in your car and you change it to first person in GTA, it's horrible. I hate it. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that is very restrictive. Yeah. I mean, all, all the cabs give you a different view like, but yeah, that that's what you get. So we always have it, it out because I don't think my audience would like to watch the farming simulator in that view, you know. <laughs> so that all they'd be able to see is the steering wheel going around, they can't even see you tilling or harvesting the uh, crops then, could they? Exactly, and I've just been sowing the wrong crop there. Oh, what did you say then? I'll, I'll, I'll put barley, I need to put, to put cannoli on. Because certain fields I have for certain crops. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you got a bit of a mixed patch then? No, you just drive over it. Okay. Sometimes it lets you do it, sometimes it don't. Oh, you're going to replant the seeds over the top of the existing ones and it will override it, so override yeah. it or something? Yeah. Okay. So, because this is our biggest field, and um, we need to uh, get this one seeded as quickly as possible. And because if not, it's a pain in the flipping ass to. You have to harvest half of it, and then you have to harvest um, the other half. So, I've got a program called Courseplay where I can put two tractors on at the same time, or even three. Yeah, two tractors on at the same time. And it will do one and miss a line, do another line, but I can't get it set up, and I can't find the only guy on the internet that knows how to set it up. Yeah, which is a German guy, and he luckily he speaks English, and I can't find out how he does it. It and it's really, really bugging because I can't find that. I can't find that uh, video. So I'm gonna have to look through my liked videos. And see if I can find it and then set up course play because some of these fields are huge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're considering uh, looking on the screen to buying field number nine is the biggest field on this map. We're thinking of buying field number 18 and then we're thinking of increasing field number 16, number 17, then having number 18 as like a block. So instead of it being like three different fields kind of like they are you're gonna have three fields going in, in in a line so that's what we're thinking of doing but, yeah because you can cut your fields you can have uh, different bits and pieces you, you you don't have to keep them to that size because field number 15 I put into three different strips so because doing things like potatoes and sugar beet it, the, the, the harvester only does it like three meters wide and to yeah. har to harvest that 15 that, that that field number 15 even the bit when I've cut it into three it took me nearly two hours which is four episodes yeah you know <laughs> that is a long time yeah so that was just a quarter of the field so if I did it as one big field it's like 
Nah, that's gonna take days. Yeah. Right. And of course, I was sitting waiting for my crops to grow, and I've got. Well, I haven't sown my crops. <laughs> so yeah. Because before I move on to the next map, um, which I've already started the next map, but I'm, I've stopped doing the the, the, the season on that is um, I want to have all the fields um, on the map that, that's once I've got that and I can do a harvest without losing a crop then um, I'm going to say right that's it that's what we got there's the goal and there's an achievement I think when you get 10 million um, from a harvest that that that's it. It, it. It's done. You know. Yeah. So. But yeah, there's That's two. Weird. There's two paid mod up packs for this as well, um, which I may or may not get. They're ten pound each. Uh, but there's a lot of modded stuff in here uh, for this that you can get, um, and, and it's quite um, quite nice actually. That there's so much interest in this game and it's just a nice easy simple game yeah I think my um, robot arms for the copper are playing I've just got a really big backlog of copper I've only got the two for now although I've just looked around and they had the copper in their hat but they just weren't doing anything with it that's bizarre oh that happens a lot mate oh, that's one of the reasons why I stopped using um the uh, um, what, what was it? The uh, robotic arms because it, it was just uh, too difficult to uh, to uh, keep them uh, in line. But yeah, right. That's the end of this episode. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is all we're going to be doing today on the farming simulator 2015. We've done the four episodes, so you can go and watch uh, any of the episodes that I've done on YouTube over the next few days and um, we'll just have fun see you soon on the bounce when I think we're going to be doing I think it's going to be Guild Wars 2 next because we need to do a few episodes on that um, so we'll see you soon have fun stay safe bye for now